Hi friends, back with another video. It's been a long time I have uploaded uh, videos on hydrology and storm drainage. So in this video, we are going to learn about the roof rainwater harvesting uh, design with a case study example. So we will learn the concept and we will uh, try to, based on this concept, we will try to learn, uh, the, learn the case study design for a uh, two-story residential building. So how can we design this? Uh, uh, roof ray, rainwater harvesting system okay uh, so here in this video we are going to uh, learn how to compute the uh, runoff rate for the roof and we'll try to design the storage tank based on the runoff volume and we'll try to um, we'll try to calculate and design the economical size of these uh, channel gutters which is conveying the uh, the rainfall water towards the storage tank okay so this method is uh, uh, based on the central groundwater commission so which is uh, very much used uh, it's in practice currently in uh, india indian region okay so here i will have a case study example okay so in this case study example with the rainfall and this uh, uh, in this uh, runoff rate so we'll calculate the the its uh, uh, storage tank size and the uh, and the size of the channel gutter based on the uh, the, the maximum rate of runoff okay this is our main objective of uh, of this uh, video okay so let's uh, begin this and understand more on it so let's consider this uh, case study example so where we are going to design the rainfall uh, rainwater harvesting system for a single story building Okay, so here if you see uh, in the example they give, they have given us that the, a house has sloping roof of a GI sheet with an roof area of uh, uh, 50 square meter and the owner uh, owner of the fam house has uh, uh, five members uh, yeah, has family of five members and design the roof uh, uh, design a roof rainwater harvesting system so we have the rainfall data of uh, last uh, 10 years so which is occurred it's a peak rainfall which is occurred in uh, uh, in a days okay and they have given us the rain maximum rainfall intensity is 10 mm per hour and the lower edge of the roof is uh, they have given us it's a uh, three meter above the ground so whatever we design the tank it should not be more than this height three meter it should be well below the three meter height so that water should uh, we, we can easily convey the water from the roof towards the storage tank okay so here we have this uh, data okay so they have given us the they have given us this uh, uh, this uh, rooftop area uh, this is the rooftop chair sheet area so that is this area this overall area is uh, 50 square meters okay they have given to us and they have if you see here they have given us the rainfall data uh, from uh, uh, from uh, last uh, past 10 years and the highest one is uh, uh, 380 highest one is uh, 380 uh, highest one is the 380 and the lowest one is in this uh, uh, row of data is uh, 300 okay so if you see the highest data that is 380 it is less likely to occur that's a single event in a 10 year it is more likely to occur in a one time in this 10 year so if you go for this second uh, the lowest limit that is the 300 mm of the rainfall which occur it is the lowest limit which is occur which are more likely to occur in the all of the far uh, all of the year of based on the 10 years of the data so it is much more reliable to, to go for the lowest limit the lowest limit of the rainfall depth is 300 mm so we'll consider the lowest limit that is 300 mm rainfall depth in our design okay so we'll consider this as a design this rainfall depth as in our design okay so we'll consider this in our design okay and so okay so we will consider this uh, the lowest rainfall it is 300 mm in our design 
so we have the cgwp table so which will calculate uh, which will uh, shows us the which will uh, which will show us the like uh, what is the total rainfall uh, available run of uh, sorry it is total rainfall volume available for the rainwater harvesting so based on this uh, uh, based on the rooftop area and the rainfall depth so rainfall depth mm -hmm. is uh, we uh, we will go for 300 mm for the design and the rooftop area is 50 square meters so we have this table here from this uh, cgwp so here the rooftop area is 50 square meter and the sorry rooftop area is 50 square meter and the rainfall depth is uh, 300 so 50 300 so it is uh, 12 meter cube per uh, uh, t t sorry t 12 cube max that's the 12 meter cube uh, or you can say t uh, the 12000 liters so and just type it here the total total rainfall total rainfall volume available for uh, rainwater harvesting that is uh, 12 q mag uh, sorry that's 12 meter cube or twelve thousand liters of the water which is available okay so based on this uh, uh, 12 cubic or uh, q uh, sorry uh, 12 uh, cubic meter or the 12000 liters so we will try to calculate the uh, size of the rainfall uh, sorry the, we will calculate the size of the storage tank we will size the we will calculate the storage tank based on this uh, rainfall that is we uh, we have found from this table so this is uh, 50 uh, for 50 meter square meter of the rear rooftop area and the um, and the rainfall depth of uh, 300 uh, 300 uh, 300 m that is uh, uh, 12 uh, 12 meter cube or 12000 liters okay so from this uh, uh, so it's from this uh, 12 meter cube of the run rainfall volume so we'll calculate the uh, size of the um, we'll do the we'll calculate this uh, size of the dimensions of the storage tank so i will consider the diameter of the storage tank as uh, 3.2 diameter is equal to 3.2 meter and uh, height is uh, I'll consider it as uh, height of the storage tank is as uh, 1.5 meter. So overall, the height would be 1.5 plus 0.2 meter or 20 centimeter as a free board okay so one uh, so for freeboard i will provide for uh, to provide the overflow pipe and uh, the dead storage for the tap outlet so that is why i am providing the additional 20 uh, 20 centimeter or 0.2 meter of the overall height so this is the storage tank dimensions then if i draw that here it's a circular storage tank okay so where uh, the where this height is uh, uh, 1.5 and the width is uh, 3.2 3.2 meter and height is 1.5 oh, sorry one height is 1.7 and uh, uh, width is 3.2 okay so if we compute this uh, overall area so if you compute the volume of this overall tank so it would be more than uh, 12, it should be more than 12 cumex to uh, to accompany all the storage which is uh, calculated okay so if I do that calculation here if I do the rough calculation uh, 3.142 into 1.5 square uh, 2.5 square and uh, pi by 4 okay sorry pi by 4 pi by 4 d square into 1.5 the height 
so it is uh, mo more than uh, uh, 12 meter cube so which is uh, which is well within our design so it is more than 12 meter cube uh, it will if you compute so which is uh, well within our uh, design and the final size would be 3.2 by 1.7 so with this one is 1.7 meters with free board so with the height of the tank with free board okay so that will be our final dimensions so final di dimension of the tank would be so the final di dimensions of the tank would be 1.5 sorry 1.7 meter height and uh, and uh, 3.2 meter width okay that is the final dimensions of our uh, storage tank okay so that we have calculated it okay so now comes the second part so in this second part we will calculate the size of the channel cutters size of the channel cutters we have to calculate okay so for the size of the channel cutters so we have to calculate this channel cutters so which is conveying the runoff water from this uh, uh from this channel cutter so it will convey to the storage tank we have to calculate the size so here i am uh, uh, considering the half circle section like this for the uh, in my design okay so first we need to calculate the uh, the maximum runoff rate which is generating uh, which is generating from this rooftop so what is the maximum runoff rate so for so let's compute the size of the channel cutter so this is the size of the channel cutter uh, so for, for before this uh, calculating the size of the channel cutter we need to calculate the uh, the maximum rate of runoff which is generated from this rooftop okay so we have to apply the uh, we have to apply this uh, rational method of hydrology to find the maximum runoff rate from the rooftop surface okay so we know the area the, that is the roof area that is 50 square meters and we know the maximum rainfall intensity is 10 mm per hour and we know the um, and we know the for this uh, roof area i will consider the uh, runoff coefficient of 0.9 so there will be that means there will be 10 percent of the rainfall losses and rest will be 90 percent would be changing into runoff okay so runoff coefficient for the roof surface uh, would be 0.9 okay and based on this uh, parameters i will calculate the maximum runoff rate from generated from the roof surface okay so i will apply the uh, formula so this is a rational formula so i know the area that is uh, 50 square meters and uh, i know the rainfall intensity that is uh, 10 mm per hour so i will convert it to meter uh, meter per second in uh, from mm to mm per hour to meter per second so for to do that uh, i will do this conversion factor 1000 so 1000 is to convert from uh, meter mm to meter and 60 into 60 to convert from hours to second okay and after that this is the convert this runoff coefficient it is 0.9 here so 0.9 this is the runoff coefficient of the roof surface so so this is the uh, runoff rate which is generated from the uh, runoff rate which is generated from the roof surface area that is q max okay so that is in the q max or you can say in meter cube per second okay so if you convert it to liter so i can multiply it by into thousand to convert it to liter per second so this is the liter per second rate and it's in, term, in terms of q max okay i'll consider this as a reference okay so i'll consider this as a reference so based on this uh, discharge this is the peak discharge you yeah. Mm, based on this uh, sorry based on this maximum runoff rate so i will compute my channel size this is the, my channel uh, this channel channel gutter size based on this uh, uh, maximum runoff rate okay so 